Hello and welcome to the far reaches of Jungle Thick and a podcast that we call Working Title Monkey Time. Yeah, Monkey, monkey Time. time. Episode baby. two is not a working uh, title anymore. Monkey Time. Episode two. No, it's always going to be the working title. Uh, I'm Soy Monkey. <laughs> I recently found out from extensive biological research that I am a, uh, a northern pig tailed macaque. So uh, I know everyone knows what that looks like. And I have just taken yeah, a big old swig macaque. of awakened juice. What did you just say? <laughs> Suck macaque. Who is I'm, this urine fellow next to me? I'm Piss Monkey. I'm a monkey that is always pissing uh, because an evil witch put a spell on me that makes me do that. Uh, there is a complex system of pipes underneath me so that I don't get the, the bar pissy. Uh, yeah. I, and yet you still manage it. <laughs> it smells well, it's, it's awful. Gonna, it smells it, fucking it, awful. I mean, even if it's I not getting wet, the smell is definitely there. It's the yes, future. I'm aware. Thank you. I cannot handle I cannot handle this. We have, uh, who's this, this insectoid, uh, Hello. Man? Hello, everybody. My name is Roach. <laughs> Indeed. He said it! He's... He said the thing! Yeah, I said okay. the thing! I said the thing! Like it! Like, oh my god! A... Oh, what is that? Oh god! We have god, a new host. That? We have a new yeah. host, a new disgusting, horrible oh, host. So they tried disgusting. to get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him last week, oh. and he refused to leave the bar, so here he is, Holtz. I am a host now, permanently. You can't get rid of me. I'm gonna you want to introduce you yourself? I'm Barry Bowden. <laughs> Barry! Um, it's very uh, let's, let, let's let our, our guests introduce themselves. Uh, I'm Flesh Monkey. I'm a pygmy marmoset sometimes, and other times I'm not. It just depends on how I feel. <laughs> You're so much better than Barry as the guest already. Oh man, oh, God. you are man. We love, we love, we love Barry. We love abomination. Plush. We love. Plush. I'm going to beat you to death. <laughs> I'm going to. We laugh are going to beat you, you to death. Oh man, I'm we love Plush. Bro, that was yeah. mad funny. Man, you got the whole squad laughing. You got the man, whole. I'm jungle still laughing. digging for the joke. <laughs> you got the whole monkey <laughs> laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are? I think we ask questions, right? Yeah, let's ask a couple questions. So, Plush, why are you so fucking disgusting? <laughs> he, he, they aren't. They're not that disgusting. Not, Plush Monkey's not great. Compared to, pl- pl- not compared to Barry Baboon. Plush Monkey, how, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how horrible and disgusting would you say Barry Baboon is? Oh, yeah. On the basis of you're my friend, 10. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Plush Monkey, I have a question. What do you think about uh-huh. the current geopolitical state of the jungle? Uh, I think only... Boris Johnson's running for prime minister. Jungle prime minister? <laughs> jungle prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> At ten, ten Monkey Boris, Street? <laughs> Boris Jungle Johnson. Jungle Actually, Johnson. that is me. I am J- Boris Jungleson. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my so, gosh, it's been you I the whole a, time. I have, a, I have a question for Plush. So, Plush. How does it feel to be in the exclusive club, Jungle Thick? Oh, the, the parody group that you had to you had oh, to beg Joan to get into. People are going to hear that. People are going to hear that, and they will believe that we are. You have to be a certain level of wholesome to get in. Yeah, how does it feel to be in Jungle Thick, Flash? How does it feel? I'm pretty sure that I was here before. Before, like a majority. Soy monkey. Not soy, but a lot of you guys. Definitely here before the Definitely not world. on Twitter, but I was swinging around the. Uh, what is yeah, Twitter? This is a you're, jungle. I am in We're, about. we're yeah, in sorry. jungle. Yeah, you're definitely here before me. I was, before me. I was hanging lore, around Milk we... Ape's pot before I ventured deeper into the jungle. In the I lore, aren't we monkeys who use Twitter? Who like have what do you mean access in the lore? to Twitter? What do you I don't mean know what you mean in the lore. What the fuck are you talking about? What? I don't know what lore, lore is. Don't you mean? Don't you mean history? Don't you mean lore? Lore? Hey, uh, Soy Monkey, I have a question for you. Okay, how does it feel to be around for a very long time? It feels good. That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Plush Monkey, I have, a, I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, I'm hearing something. I'm getting, I'm getting something, uh, I'm hearing something, uh, 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 host from last week, you or from Monday, you know what to do when when you hear this. It goes boom, 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 bo
that's right, everybody. It's stuff the piss monkey finds on the internet. Yeah. Um, yeah, baby. I, I didn't do it right. I have something I found on the internet to share with you, my special friend Plush Monkey, and all my other friends. This is a man uh, whose full name is Peter Kane Dog Training. He's made some <laughs> wacky videos, some pretty <laughs> wacky videos. This isn't one of his more famous videos. I haven't seen this one going around as much. Yes, he does believe he had sex with a Bigfoot, and he does believe uh, that there's a dog man in his barn. But he doesn't um, he believe also has... he knows. He knows. You're right. He knows. What the hell is a dog? Um, I... There's a, literally a dog oh, in the jungle yeah. named Dog. Uh, of a dog in the jungle. I mean, I, I mean what's, the, what's a man? What's a man? Uh, 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 Skinner. Skinner. The, hey, trademark character. Don't talk about him. Uh, skin. I, uh, yellow. Principal skin, skin Scumbo man. Sin Man. Skinny, Principal Sinbad. Mr. Steamham. Principal Sinbad is a human. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is crazy. I you, you may think us monkeys are, are ooh, ooh, ah, ah, go crazy, go monkey. But this guy, he's, you know, <laughs> he's, pretty, he's pretty wild. He's got some fun videos. This is one where he talks about his pet, Raven. This is a video called Raven's Personality Compared to Human Narcissist. What the fuck is a Raven? So there's not much... There's not. It's a. It's a, a black. A big black bird. That's um, racist. Um, I believe. I believe they eat them. Um, this is a. Uh, uh, there's not much going on in the video. If there was, I wouldn't play it on a podcast. That wouldn't make sense. Um, so just to describe it to you, it's him. Uh, he's got sort of um, a short beard and his disheveled hair, uh, not looking too good. Uh, in a very cluttered room with various birds in the background, like little birds and bird cages and stuff, and sitting next to him is uh, a big old, big old raven bird. Um, here, uh, you can listen to this now. A lot of people have no idea what it's like living with a raven, and I think a lot of ravens end up as pets because of this. And what the only thing that I could compare it to is like maybe if you live with like somebody with like severe narcissism. <laughs> You know, it's all about Sam. It doesn't, you know, or maybe like a sociopath or psychopath. It's about Sam. You know, it really is. It's about him, like kind of entertaining himself, and that's fine. I I love the guy. You know, but you have to understand, like he goes through these phases where he um, he tortures me. That's, that's what he's sort of, he's into, he's sort of torturing. And uh, this was talked about uh, the Jimmy Stewart movie, or actually it's the uh, Frank Capra, I think. See, the Frank, Frank Capra, It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, it, I've, I've heard Jimmy Stewart talking about the, the raven that was on set, and the raven on set just tortured Jimmy. Just like <laughs> singled him out and just tortured him. So, you know, that's, that's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with an animal that's like, uh, you know, uh, it's got a, got a lot of stuff upstairs and, you know, it really isn't, a lot of times the stuff that they do is acute, so it's going to be frustrating at times <laughs> if you're going to live with a raven. The so raven and like, 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 he'll take my, he'll <laughs> take my, uh, my wallet and I, he's looking for my driver's license. You What's know, he drive, and then he though? takes the driver's license and tries to destroy it. <laughs> so, you know, and there's physical things too. You saw him going at my shoulder. He went, wow. you know, this week, and he's done this before throughout, you know, the years I've lived with him, but, like, he'll, like, swoop down on me, like, I'm taking the dogs out, and so for, like, two days, each time I bend over to put a leash on a dog, here comes Sam to claw me in the back. <laughs> Do you understand? This is a big bird. That can hurt. That can hurt. If you're afraid of getting bit or anything like that, don't get a raven. Seriously, and if you think that you can be sort of just passive with the raven, you have to be. You can't give him a physical correction, but you can certainly tell the raven when it's fucking up. You know, but you can't give it a physical correction. It's a bird. There's no way to do it. So they understand tone just and everything, and he knows. And that, that's it's an issue, eat too. To the bird. I don't know what the big deal is. He gets a kick out of it. Like, bird, look man. at what I did. You know? Eat it. I mean, Peter, I mean, Consume Peter, the bird. Uh, Crazy. Just piss on the bird. He makes me crazy at times. That's what it's like <laughs> living with a raven. He makes me crazy. <laughs> comparable to like a sociopath. Holy shit, how long is this? You know, Almost like me and my ex-wife. I like living with a psychopath. <laughs> I love Sam. I love him to death, but at times it is. It's frustrating. So if you're thinking about getting a raven, think twice. 
really know and understand what you're getting into. This, I, <laughs> you know, this isn't my first Corvette. Keep going. You know, I, I own other birds too, so <laughs> this isn't my have first. A lot of bird this is my first rodeo. Really consider getting Corvette. a raven or a crow. Okay, and I have one more video I'd like to show by this guy. Um, That's Scott this... Seals hanging out with small monkey John Deere. <laughs> God, I as a like passive head a owner, psychopath. I now it know is. that I really should get a raven. He's a little terrorist. Hi, this small... is my horrible garbage murder bird, and I love him. <laughs> this my small really angry is. monkey friend. This literally this eats called, dead bodies, but it's okay. This is a video called, him. Is Peter Kane Gay? Somebody underneath one of my videos yesterday asked if I was gay. <laughs> gay. Hold was on, I hold gay? on. Was I gay? I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this. Uh, uh, he does a little gesture, so I'll make sure to describe it when he does it. Somebody underneath one of my videos yesterday asked if I was gay. And to that, I say... Does that look gay? He's showing his bicep. Huh? No, I'm not gay. <laughs> that's, that's really nothing to worry about. It would worry if the dog was vomiting and it looked like... And now he's talking cows, about so dogs vomiting. <laughs> okay, uh, that's what this I found really on the internet great. today. Lovely. I love this man um, and his horrible <laughs> garbage bird. Thank you for letting me share that. Uh, next that time was... I'll try to have something that stems more discussion. I just wanted to share this wonderful, beautiful man. <laughs> I like it. It's really great. Just, <laughs> am I gay? Flex his bicep? <laughs> no. Well, I wouldn't consider it flexing. More like he dangles his arm a little bit. He just dangles <laughs> He's like a human green bean. Flex his <laughs> bicep at you. <laughs> the monkey dangles his green bean in front of the YouTube face. <laughs> Wait, I'd like no. to see him... He has lots of videos of him teaching dogs tricks badly. I'd love to see him, like, do it with a monkey. <laughs> monkey trick, monkey trick. Monkey Peter trick, monkey, monkey tricks. tricks. Monkey tricks. He's owned ravens. He's owned dogs. Why doesn't he own... Oh, we already know what's going on. Wow. Poetry with Soy Monkey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what poem Guys. have you brought to us today, Poem Master? Today I've got something really special for you. It's called um, Kellogg Special Original three, 30 Grams. <laughs> 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 okay, read it for us. Read it. All right. So this, this poem was this this poem was purchased from a. Uh, from a discount store that sells in bulk, so um, a lot of the back's in Arabic. We're gonna have some fun. Ingredients. UK. Crunchy rice, whole wheat, and barley flakes. Ingredients. Rice, 46%. Whole wheat, 37% sugar. Barley, 5%. Malted barley flour, 3.5%. Barley malt flavoring, salt, vitamins and minerals, niacin, iron, zinc, vitamin B2, riboflavin, vitamin B1, theamin, vitamin B6, folic acid, vitamin D, vitamin B12. For allergens, see ingredients highlighted in bold. Make it contain milk, <laughs> vegetable, <laughs> sweet tom. Thank you. Now who wrote this poem? That was amazing, Soy. I believe this poem was written by Mr. Kellogg. Amazing. <laughs> Mr. Kellogg himself? You know, they say, uh, you know, they, uh, they say zinc's good for coming. Oh, 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 fuck. <laughs> what do you know about I forgot, that? I forgot a key part, which is uh, crunchy rice, whole wheat, and barley flakes. Copos tostados de arroz, trigo y Gato. Thank you. you say, did you say gato? <laughs> Fucking idea. Is it cat? As in cat in your cereal? No, I think you... <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, it's the back of a Kit Kat label. Yeah. Smelling cat is it's in your cereal. Uh, it's yeah. You know, you got the ASMR. Hey, uh... 
Fantastic. Monkey time. Monkey time. <laughs> Monkey time. This is this is the good audio. Uh, plush. <laughs> I have I have a question for our guest. Uh-huh. Actually, just kidding. It's a new segment. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> It's a cryptid something. I don't know a name. I just came up with this on uh, the spot. Cryptid, cryptid Why do you corner. keep double crossing me like cryptid this? Corner. <laughs> yeah, it's cryptid corner. Okay. Oh, do you hear that? It's our sponsor, Big Banan. Thank you, Big Banan, <laughs> for sponsoring this week's episode of Monkey Times. Big Banan. And now Big for banana. a new segment. <laughs> just when I think I understand, it gets more confusing. Hey, Flush, I have a question. What do you think of our new segment led by me, Cryptids? <laughs> <laughs> this is my new segment. Uh, this is this my is, new uh, segment. Corner. <laughs> anyway, Barry, take it away. Barry, go ahead, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys know about the color purple. Nope. And you guys know about globs of goo and ooze. Of course I do, of course what I do. What if I combine I, the I piss globs of purple goo constantly. <laughs> Disgusting. So, this is a thing from my... Uh, from a place that's not my hometown because I live in the jungle called uh, Philadelphia and um, it's a oh, UFO funny. that crashed out of the sky and turned into a big glob of purple ooze and a bunch of cops went to investigate it and it was when they shined their flashlights on it it like glowed really bright <laughs> wild I know uh, and when they tried to pick it up, it dissolved into a sticky, odorless residue. Oh, sorry, that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> is, that the, is that the whole cryptid? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Eventually, after cryptid. a while, it just dissolved into a slight residue until it finally completely disappeared. So and, just... uh... <laughs> See, when I hear cryptid, I, I, I generally think of something that's like out there somewhere. But no, it's not just a UFO that melted. Not something that you, appeared you guys... for five minutes and then dissolved. <laughs> well, maybe it's just not I a ate all of it. fan. It's what makes I... my eyes purple. Yo, you guys heard of that dude with really big feet? <laughs> hey, yo. No. I think yeah, me neither. I was I gonna do a bit a where I said. I think it's just a loogie. I think it was That's just a cryptid. popsicle. A popsicle that melted. Large shoe. Or you want a better cryptid? How about fucking Bigfoot? You want me to just talk about Bigfoot? Everyone knows Bigfoot. Well, no, not Bigfoot. No one knows the Pennsylvania purple. Not, not Bigfoot, because Bigfoot um, co- coerced uh, Peter Kane dog training in, into bodily <laughs> fun. Um, Do you think the purple residue is because the flying purple people eater got vaporized? Oh shit. Yeah. Which means that there's something theory. more powerful than the flying purple people either out there, which is a terrifying thought. <laughs> no, it was probably the American government. They finally tracked yeah. that rascal down after all these <laughs> they, years. They got and him they shot, down. And they shot, shot him out of the milk, old sky. That's well, this, him what happened. From this happened during the Korean War, so Yo, maybe they what? had new technology. Oh my god, he was Korean. The, the flying purple people <laughs> was a Korean man. <laughs> and this, it was, was all he propaganda. Was, um, <laughs> The flying purple yeah. people, people leader is a he war criminal. He was created criminal. to become the manager of BTS, but we got him too soon. Ah, uh, <laughs> not BTS. I see, I see, I see. Hey, you hear that, Flush Monkey? It sounds like I got a question. Uh huh. What's it like being uh so so small that like I could probably just step on you and not even. Everyone could step on me, but they don't, and that's what makes my existence a living hell. What if I stepped on you with my big crinkly monkey feet? What would you do? I don't like toes. <laughs> Are you <laughs> crinkly? With my piss monkey feet. Wait, you know my big crinkly smelly monkey. You know, yeah. speaking of someone that can get stepped on, me, Roach. <laughs> get ready for this, baby. I could step on Roach. Your music is not coming through. That was a tremendous failure. Fuck oh, it is. Oh, it's gone again. <laughs> I heard it for a second. <laughs> yeah, there, oh. <laughs> Maybe we start the segment. Uh, give yeah. it up for our monkey jazz band who keeps stopping and starting. <laughs> All right, let me try. They're <laughs> fading out of existence. You know, speaking of someone that can get stepped on. You already made that joke. Yeah, I know, you? but like, I'm trying to. It's Morning. me, Ro- Roach. 
a person that can accept on. Currently, five hundred dollar versus sixteen dollar steak dinner. Pro you chef at home cooks. Well. To make this interesting. <laughs> Can you stop doing that? It does. It Fuck doesn't it. work. Fuck it. Okay, I'm gonna do it myself. All right, there we go. There we go. We did it. That's the intro to Roaches Restaurant Restroom Review. <laughs> yeah, baby. Today we are talking about a very fine establishment, Taco Bell. What is that? Specific. I don't know. It's this thing in the jungle I found. Specifically, jungle. their bathroom. Now, for y'all who don't know what a bathroom is, Piss Monkey, you could really use one of these. It's something with a bowl, and you piss I know in what it. a bathroom is. You don't Can use I a bathroom. Drink? It doesn't help me because I never stop pissing. I would be trapped well, there forever. Exactly. Good. But yeah. Here's the thing about bathrooms. <laughs> bathrooms contain the greatest source of culinary art known to man oh. fecal matter <laughs> now the thing about taco bell the thing about taco bell is that they create food that create a copious amount of shit yeah and when that, like that huh yeah and when that's made it's very explosive gets nasty all over like the floor, that gets all over the walls <laughs> and that's where i sit in that's so, where um, i no now taco oh. bell have the best type it's spicy it's exotic and it's amazing i'm sorry Roach, I'm one, so just... one taste of poop and you're south of the border exactly you're just it's an explosion of flavor now when it comes to the taco bell bathroom on roach's restaurant restroom review i give it five indeeds out of five <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, Plush Bro. Monkey, I have a question. Thank you. Uh -huh. I have a question for you, Plush Monkey. Let's get away from that as fast as we can. <laughs> um, how many monkeys can you name off the top of your head? Just like types oh, of monkeys. Oh, hey, if you like monkeys, name, name monkeys. all of them. I can name the pygmy marmoset and the soy monkeys. <laughs> and, that's not uh, a type of monkey, that's a name of them. <laughs> gorillas. And, uh, 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 you, uh, <laughs> the piss. Uh, oh, and Larry Monkey King. <laughs> and a special and, thanks to you at home. And oh, the one, For supporting one more, Jeopardy. me. That's that's it. That's all the monkeys. Hello and welcome to Larry Monkey King. I'm Larry Monkey King. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Roach, I'm very sorry this happened, but during your segment, I, uh, I found a video I recommended. I don't know if you saw, I sent it to our chat. It's called Llama Spits in a Kid's Face. Is this what we're doing on the podcast now? <laughs> yes, I don't know. Spitting I on the segment, it was just this. Llama Spits on Kid's Face. Okay, so what we're doing on the podcast now I don't think this is a segment. Um, it's a video of a llama spitting in a toddler's face. And he just stands there and takes it. It's a minute and 44 seconds long. It's a minute, it's a minute and 44, it's a minute and 40 seconds. The llama spits of the in the llama kid's spitting face. out little globules one, and the kid just stands there. One minute, one minute and 40 the time seconds when it gets straight. interesting. So for a minute and 43 seconds, we watch the kid walking around, we watch the, um, the llama spitting out little globules, little strings of spit. Um, and then in the last second, it shoots a geyser of saliva into the child's face. And he takes it like a man. The kid just takes this. It's just 141 minutes of spitting. Holy shit. Hey, you guys want to review a movie? Wait, but, yeah, let's do it. Let's review a movie, guys. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Wait, quick question. Barry. Barry, can we look forward to a special cryptic corner uh, devoted to um, uh, Sasquatch on Lake Placid? Or Lake Placid? <laughs> yes. uh, uh, a documentary? That's gonna be the episode 10 special. Yeah, no, or, or we could review that as a movie, but that's not the movie that I would like to review. Um, the original, uh, why did I say the original? Not the original, that one was a cartoon. Uh, the, the live action Lord of the Rings trilogy. 
Lord of yeah. Ring. Yeah, Lord of the, Lord Ring. Lord, Lord of the Ring. Ring. Monkey pretends like they have seen Lord of Ring before. All right, so here's the stitch. Where are the monkeys in this movie? That's <laughs> yeah. There were no monkeys. I don't know. Seven point five out of ten. Not enough monkey or a human creature. So I mean, there was too much ass. water. Gollum there was, was monkey adjacent. Maybe so there was the there was a big old. Were, there was Gollum hairy does not humans. identify as monkey. Hairy the short wargs, humans. The the hairy short humans, humans which are monkey. I would say the wargs were maybe like a quarter monkey. Yeah, they had trees though. Monkeys. There live were a in lot trees. of trees. That's the that good is, point. Yeah, there were monkeys so live in trees. trees. You could build a whole dang jungle with all those trees, couldn't you? There, were, there was, there was of, probably a jungle. There was a lot of food in the movie. Fruits there and berries. There wasn't a jungle. jungle, but there was a big forest. That's pretty close. Oh, yeah, there, was, there was food jungle. in the movie, but not a single banana. Or no, there movie, were other fruits. I, I guess I'd give this movie four poop flings out of ten. Ooh, now, poop it's fling. Not, it's not quite poop. there. It's not quite there, but there were trees, and that should count for something. It has potential. All right, guys. You know what you know what that means. Now that we're done with the review, you guys After all know. After we're done with the review, you know what we do. Oh uh, exactly yeah, baby. You know what we do, plush monkey. After we review the movie, you know what we do. Yeah, baby. <laughs> role you know play time. A role play. Right. Monkey jungle role play. Okay, I want to be Gandalf. Right, I'll, be, I'll be the ring. <laughs> You're the cool. ring. Okay, so monkey's uh, golem. I'm an orc. Are there orcs in this one? Yeah, there's orcs what? in all what? of them. Yes. Plush Monkey, you're, uh, who are you? I remember the one time I saw a clip of Lord of the Rings, they were riding on horses, and then they came across this dude hanging from a tree. That's me. Can, oh, okay. Can you be- somebody be Gimli. I want to be Gimli. I don't know who that is. Dwarf. He's, he's the funny dwarf man. He There's a lot of those. Lot. He yells and says angry things. He says, I'm trying to run, but my legs are too short. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Roach, why don't you multi roll with the ring and like Legolas or something? <laughs> why would you do Legolas? He's so boring. Or, or Gimli then. Alright, why don't why does she just be Bilbo? Who why would anybody be Bilbo? Bilbo okay, Sam. 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 Freaking I'll Bilbo. be the Hobbit. Oh, Mr. Frodo, I can't make a walk, but I can carry a that shit, that's his only memorable line. Actually no, I've dropped no eaves. <laughs> I've been dropping no eaves, it's pretty good too. Okay, okay. You be whoever you want, okay? I don't care. Let's, Let's just start, okay? I'm Gandalf. I'm, I'm an orc, and I am very tall and large, and I like to eat it. <laughs> funny, funny that Barry Baboon would choose something just as horrifying and disgusting. <laughs> 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 fucking disgusting! <laughs> hey, I'm the ring. Someone uh, put me on their I'm picture. smoking my pipe! <laughs> <laughs> ah. Gentlemen, we have to go destroy the ring. <laughs> ring noise. <laughs> I'm going to step I'm on you. I'm going to eat the raw pork chop. I am going Hello. to step on the ring now with my big crinkly feet. No. Hello, it's me. It's me, Thorin. I'm here too. I'm so sad. My mountain is burned. Oh, oh no! I'm so I sad. I love yelling and Wait, screaming him. and eating meat because I'm an orc. <laughs> if Sauron is defeated, I'm I'm slowly turning into plankton. <laughs> if Sauron is defeated, then what's that ring doing there? Sauron's secret ring noise. formula. I told him to go eat cat fee on door and all. The Krabby Patty secret formula. Secret formula. Mr. Frodo. Mr. Frodo, I'll carry you across the river. Stick your tongue in me, Mr. Frodo. Krabby Patties. This sucks. My darling. What are we doing? Hello, it's Stewie. I'm here too from Family Guy. <laughs> I'm Stewie as well. <laughs> Brian. Brian, look out. Car. My butt, Brian. Homie. Roger. Throw the boomba. Nasa no hana the boomba. Is that stitch? <laughs> Er, gar, 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 Mr. The Krabby poison Krabby. for Cusco. Cusco's poison. The poison. Cusco's poison. Poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. Hey, Bader. We're getting pretty hey, far Bader. away from our, our hey, Lord. Hey, Bader. 
um, are the no, little anyway, bit easier that's to the relate plot to in no Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh my god, is that Lil Nas X in the American Dad House? I am all the sis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We gotta start over. We gotta start over. So last time it worked pretty well when I was a trying to <laughs> when you were alive. Kind of... So when I was a villain <laughs> and all of the rest of you were people trying to stop me, that worked pretty well because we had a very definite goal. Yeah, so we had the, the, the iconic line, crawl up your coal and I must. <laughs> so say I'm Sauron, maybe? Uh, or or maybe the Witch King. I don't care. I'm any uh, any other. Uh, I'm generic evil night man. You know. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, we can say Sauron, and, and uh, the rest of you are all uh, various heroes. Maybe there's a Gimli, and there's somewhere a Legolas. I'll be Gimli because I'm small. What? I'd be Saruman. <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf the Grey rides to the, uh, my, uh, to Halvor. Ah, oh, man. His little legs. I am Sauron. You will never defeat me. Throw axe. When you have defeated me. You shall not pass. <laughs> that's not your line. That's Gandalf's <laughs> line. You shall not pass. <laughs> Frodo, you... Fucking, I fucking hate you, but you're safe. The worst thing we've ever seen. Through the ever ring in the lava! Pray! Oh, hey, look, look at there. It's the giant eagles come to carry us out of this segment. Yeah, <laughs> They've taken us away from this bit back to safety. Thank God. That was. That was painful. That was something very interesting. That was great. Uh, hello, is, it, is this Facebook.com? Sorry. Uh, my child, Anthony, has begun jeweling recently, and I'm not sure what to do. Is it a form of Satan worship or what? Was that the stuff that Soy Monkey finds online? What? Jewel Monkey. So, did you just read I, that I, off the internet? No, I just blacked out. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> has Soy been possessed by, by a Facebook mom? Soy Monkey, I think you were momentarily possessed by a Facebook mom ghost, and I don't think she's going to be able to move on until we help her out. I had what are you weapon. talking about? No, we got to answer this Facebook question. Facebook mom, if you hear me, can you repeat the question? What is going on? Tell us, what's the matter? My child, Anthony, he's been jeweling recently. Is it Satan worship? Help, I am a Christian mother against jeweling. Wait a second. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. So, you are against jeweling. Well, first of all, I would like to say, um, as a, as a registered minister in the jungle, um, I get these sort of questions all the time. And, and, and what, 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 you, what, what, what you need to know is that I believe uh, jeweling, by releasing vapors into the air, you yourself get closer to the earth around you. I think it's a very powerful and natural process. I believe that picture the air as all that is all the the world. The air is the world. You with every with every puff, with every cotton you rip, with every dank smoke, you release a little bit of yourself out into the world. And I think that's beautiful. Thank you, that's very helpful. Praise Zenu. I hope you get rid of your id soon. That was some wise words, Father Piss. Thank you. Hey guys, Can what's you going on? my wedding? Yeah. Yeah, who are you marrying? Pl plushy proposing to Peach soon. Why are you... Is the Awaken Juice wearing off? Oh no. Oh no. I'm tired. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You know what that means. Hold on. No, oh, never mind. False one. Oh yeah, uh, it's me, Kool Aid Man. <laughs> oh to... no! This is horrible. This is the worst thing we've ever done. So terrible. Yeah, I think you're right. I have no idea what's happening. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. There was like there was uh, 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 Sauron and and <laughs> Peter Griffin and Stewie. It's all a I don't know anyway. what's happening. Flush monkey, Flush monkey, our guest. Ah. How you feeling tonight? You tried the feel yet? 
good. I'm glad you feel good. Monkey. One last, one last question for Plush Monkey before I, I slip into insanity. Uh. Just a second. I have to look something up. I'm going to put a cut there. Just I'm going to make a funny noise. I'm going to do Saturday my funny night. monkey screen. My, my monkey impression. Before you do whatever you're going to do, I actually have something more important. Yeah. This is um, Poetry with Soy Monkey, hosted by Barry Baboon. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? So, so this is Jumping Monkey by Caitlin Gunther. There once was a jumping monkey, and jumping he would always be. He fell off a cliff because he was stiff, and now jumping he will never be. That's so stiff sad. like in the pee-pee? That's uh, amazing. Yes. The ballad of, of jumping <laughs> the monkey. R. The, the, monkey, with, the R. monkey with ED who fell to his death. Rip blue monkey, rip jumping monkey, they will all be missed. You guys want want to hear my monkey impression? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts every yeah, time I do it. I do that, and then sometimes I do that really loud R two D two scream. Mm hmm. I'd like to hear that, please. You know when he he falls off a cliff in the leg. Yeah, I know. Off. I know exactly. I, I'm not sure if I can do this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're talking about impersonating a monkey because you are a monkey. That was a very I don't make monkey thing. noises like that. I'm made of cotton half the time. Okay. The loudest uh, noise monkey, I can make I is a, a peddly thud him. on the ground. I have one last question for Plush Monkey. Uh huh. This question comes straight from Riddles.com. Oh, oh God. no. Uh, yes. Why is a farmyard like a hotel? L like, like a, a hotel? Huh? Why is a farmyard like a hotel? Hold on, I have to deal with something. Hold on. Uh, I have a lot of happened? sex in both of them. Because there's while, rapid. While Plush Monkey uh, talks to the bouncer about their lack of ID, feel free to, to try to guess the answer. Why is a farmyard like a hotel? Because yeah. it's filled with because it's filled with animals. Because it's interesting for an hour or two, but you would rather be anywhere else. Oh my because god. Because it's frequently patronized by gobblers. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What does that mean? <laughs> What's a gobbler? <laughs> I have no idea what that I means. hate you, piss monkey. Hey, I, I have a riddle for you. What's heavier, a ton of bricks or a ton of feathers? ton of piss. <laughs> <laughs> this joke was unfinished. Press plus to add your answer below. <laughs> That's right. A ton I of steel. Because steel is heavier than feathers. I don't get it. If you could change your fate, would you? Would you? <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Listen to how enthused my voice is. Ah, ah, ah. Oh no, awaken juice. Oh no. Ah. The awaken juice is wearing ah. off. Get out. Get out before we destroy it. Oh no. Ah. Oh no. Ah. The awaken juice is wearing off. Ah. Alright, oh, that was monkey time. Ah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, this is Roach signing out. Indeed. Goodbye, everybody. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> Ha <laughs>